So, yep, RVers, it happened to me. A nice sunny day, drying out the awning, and out of nowhere, like everybody says, a gust of wind just ripped it right off my RV. So here's a video on how you go about trying to fix and reattach. So I'm going to see online if I uh, find this company and get a new arm. After checking on the website, I also went to an RV shop and found out that the downside of an older RV, sometimes parts aren't made anymore. That's the case for this. So I'm going to try to take this bracket and make it into something that's going to work. So my neighbor, super, super fix anything, dude. I think he's fabricated a part that we might be able to fix this. Amazing. We'll see if it works. That's bent, so I'm going to straighten that. So here's what he figured out. That bracket, he had to bend all this beyond my abilities. I wouldn't know where to start. Well, look. This is what the original looks like. This is all cast aluminum, so basically he got the same length to do the same job with a different bracket. It was twisted in there, so this is just from Home Depot. So thrift store stuff came in handy. Those are skewers, and we used those. Coated them in Elmer's glue, and then we put them into the holes where we're going to put screws, but we're going to let it sit overnight. i got to go try to find some more screws that are going to fit. I'll put the brackets back up, and yeah, we'll let that sit overnight. And then we will try to mount this puppy if it doesn't rain. It wants to rain. Okay, these are where the brackets go. And it looks as if there's some kind of sealant on there or adhesive. So I'm going to scrape that off and then we'll reapply. I put some water sealant on there to make sure I got no leaks. Because there's a couple screws that we're going to have to drill new holes. Such as this one. This is going to need a new hole drilled. Cleaned up the brackets. They look a lot better. All right, now I'm reattaching these brackets. And the filled holes have set up really nice. Nice and secure, should be good. My biggest mistake in everything is I don't put shit back where I got it. Oh, uh, don't feel lonely. <laughs> I always want to be one of those people that outlines everything on a pegboard. Well, I think you're there, aren't you? Are you sure them holes are right on up there? They don't have to go that way. But... I'm thinking they're gettable. They're not perfect. Do we want to do like one on each end? That sounds good. <laughs> the most front? Yeah, that's, I put mine close to five. Well, that's going right in, isn't it? Did you go-go? Yeah. Yeah, pretty tight. Yeah. Do we want to try to open it before we go too far? Because it's not, it's not going to come down. No. Oh, I'm the kind that always goes too far and then has to undo everything. Boy, you're having drugs, girl, and people think you're having drugs. <laughs> Put it away and we'll roll it back up and we'll 
get the rest of the screws in, right? Because if we open this just a little ways, we can get to those feet. We don't have yeah. to do it all the way. Well, and we're going to have to have it open to put the other screws here. Yeah. I'm going to have to have it open further to get to that one. No? You think we, we've done this before? Now we can, I can put that screw in there, I guess. Okay. You want me to scrape that ceiling away? Oh, that's a that's the head though. That's the head of the old one. Let's see if I can back the head out of here. Yeah. Well, damn, awning's in the way. <laughs> I bet you they put this in after they've mounted it, right? Yeah. That might work better. Alright, what do we do now? I need to open it up so I can drill this hole. Okay. That ain't gonna no help. I don't got to it might have to go all the way. You think you'd be able to get to it from there? Or is that head on there too? Well, I think I don't have to come out, I guess. Yeah, because we gotta go left of it. Yeah, let's go to the left, right? Yeah. And here comes the part for my next project I gotta fix. What are you doing? Have a good one. You too. What are we missing? So we're making a monitor change. That's the feet. And we had pop riveted on here, but we put it on the wrong way. So we took the pop rivets out, drilled them out, and we're going to put new ones in. Both of mine had broken off, so I wasn't sure which way they went. And easy fix. So far, so awesome. And why is that even necessary? You know, yeah, why, couldn't build it? It say? why couldn't it? Why did it have to matter? <laughs> it drops in and it goes. If you go the other way, it won't drop in. It's funny they didn't use stainless on oh. most of this, but they're about double the price. Oh, right. And when you buy five or six of them, it doesn't matter. But when you're building an RV, I guess it matters. Because, you know, they could have put stainless here. Yep. We got to do the other side. Had to snip the washers to get them to fit inside the tube. <laughs> we don't need this wind taking it again. That's how this shit all started. <laughs> Yeah, I, well, and I also, I usually tilt it more. They have their awnings up all the time. I don't put mine up that often. And and just that day caught it. Can I shake your hand again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, now it'll close. That's about a two-man operation, isn't it? Well, you got to be careful. That's as good as it's ever been. It's being a little wonky right when it closes. Well, it took a long trip. Yeah. See, it's kind of something's not quite right down here. All the way to the bottom? Yeah. Okay. Now it's moving up, the green piece. That little thing's hitting it and moving it up? Uh, half the up. And this uh, it should be, that's it. now it is. Okay. Okay, so that's good. Now open. Oh, there you go. And then it kind of just pops? Yeah. Okay. Maybe it was just tightening that screw that tiny little bit. This end never has. Okay. That's why I use that strap there. Let's see. You're amazing. Uh-huh. I learned a lot here. 
We'd probably do it faster than do another one. Yeah, we can go <laughs> in business now. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Have a great and wonderful day. This didn't cost me much, but, you know, I'll pay my neighbor. All right, it's a day later. I'm going to open it back up and uh, do a recap for you. All right, so what didn't get shown is we had to do some fiddle in this. We filed the uh, ends down a little bit to get it to fit back in there. But this bracket's working well. All right, so how it attaches is the plates go on the back, and I don't think I showed, but I buttered the back of the plates before I put them on with some sealant and some adhesive, some good stuff. So I put that adhesive on it, and I also used um, sealant around the edges to try to make sure no water gets in there. So for the bracket system, two of them go from the bracket into the RV and then one goes through the awning, the, the aluminum, through the bracket and into the RV, if that makes sense, if I'm explaining it. These little screws um, hold the bottom of it. And on this one, um, two of the screws were stuck in the RV. We were able to get one of them out and the other one we had to drill a new hole to get it in there because we couldn't get the other out but it seems to be working fine as for connecting to the RV it wasn't that difficult there's the three brackets and then maybe right here you can see there's a little channel that the top of the bracket sits in you might be able to see that right there is the actual top of the bracket so, and then you just come down here and the bottom of the bracket sits on that little lip and then you screw it in pretty straightforward so what we had to do here is we pop riveted the feet I, I don't know, there's probably a term for these, but the feet back on, and then they go in there. But the only difference is, these are a little tighter than they were. Had a, a different kind of thing on here, but that ain't a problem. There's two pop rivets on each side. So, I must say I feel pretty fortunate. Um, most of it was was pretty straightforward for me. Again, we had to replace this. This is just a stock piece of aluminum. Um, because it, when it bent in there, it also flexed it and it wouldn't move. I think I could have done most of this except for this bracket that he made. I think that's beyond me. But it really doesn't look all that much different than the standard one. Even though sometimes you might not be able to get the parts for something anymore. There are ways around it. But this was fabricated from a flat piece of steel, you know what I mean? He, uh... He used a blowtorch and just his bench vise, and he took it away, and then a couple days later, in between his other stuff, came back and said, let's see if this works. Obviously, it works. I don't know if everybody's going to be as fortunate as I am to have a neighbor like this. I also guess a fortunate part is this bracket that wasn't damaged, so it was able to work off of that. I'll also say an important thing we did is we worked on the awning a lot on the ground before we ever tried to mount it to make sure it was everything was working pretty well and one thing we found I guess you can sort of see right there these couple divots these feet here when those broke off there's a post that went all the way through and they were inside the awning we couldn't get it to close right and we couldn't understand why and uh, once we fished those out because the center didn't want to close it was pretty easy and if we if we hadn't messed with it on the ground that might have been a heck of a lot harder so before we tried to hang it, the awning was working pretty well. We made sure to be able to do things where we could get to them. All in all, I'm a very, very happy RVer. All right, don't think anything's impossible. If you can't do it yourself, you can always find somebody, even if they don't make the parts anymore. <laughs> as long as it stays on the RV, we're good. All right, let's close it up. YouTubers, I'd say it's about as good as it's ever been. Got fortune to have a great and wonderful day.